Hey everybody, welcome to day two. Today you will see on your schedule that we are doing cardio walking and we wanted to just quickly explain to you why we choose cardio walking over other forms of cardio because it's very important as far as preventing injury, making sure that you're not doing too much steady state cardio so that it actually has the opposite effect and we wanted to make sure that you truly understand why this is included in your program and why maybe you've been doing too much and it's been having the reverse effect. So I'm gonna give it over to Sarah. She's gonna explain exactly why we do this. If you really wanna know all the answers and the science behind why we believe in doing just walking over running or traditional forms of cardio, like being on the treadmill or biking long distances, click this right over here and watch why running isn't the best way to lose weight. Bottom line, if you wanna burn fat and you wanna have less fat on your body, it's way more important to do strength training. That can be body weight or maybe adding weights in. And you also wanna add in HIIT cardio. So HIIT is high intensity interval training. It is scientifically proven that that burns more fat than traditional cardio. The reason behind this is because you're working your anaerobic system. So you're not working in the aerobic system, which essentially means when you're working anaerobically, you're sending your body through extreme highs and lows. That's why they call it high intensity interval training. So when you do intervals, you're doing a high, maybe 80% or above effort, and then you'll follow it by a rest period. And there's short spurts it's easier on your joints, it's better for your metabolism, and overall, it's safer and it's more effective than doing just steady state cardio where you are maybe running and you're pounding your joints into the ground over and over and over and over and over, not really challenging yourself that much, and you're doing that for longer than 20 minutes at a time, it can lead to injuries, it can lead to plateaus, and it can lead to just in general boredom, <laughs> which we don't want any of those things. So Sarah's gonna share a little story with you about why this is so important to us. So we we're really passionate about this because about four years ago, I actually had to have surgery at the young age of 22 on my hip. That's something that typically you see in older people, not something you see who's in their young 20s. And the reason why that happened to me is because all I did was cardio. I ran all the time. I did literally no strength training. I didn't do any injury prevention like stretching and mobility and it led me to literally pounding my hip into surgery because I did not take care of myself and I did not have the muscle to support my joint. So all of that impact was going straight into my hip instead of having the muscle to support me that could kind of take some of that impact off. So this is why Liz and I do not promote this and we feel really strongly about people doing really long distance running. This is long distance. If you wanna go run a mile or two or even three, that's fine, that's your own choice. But if you're going six, 10, 12, 14, 20, that's where you start to get into some problems because long term, day in, day out, if you're hitting the pavement like that, it is gonna do more damage on your body than it is gonna do good. And a lot of people think, I need to get in shape, I need to go running, and there's a better answer. It's not just going on a run because that has so much stress on your body. If you do not have the muscle mass to support that weight, to support that impact that you're hitting the pavement every time you put your foot down. So this is why we strongly promote walking. It's so underutilized. We all sit all the time. When was the last time you went on a three mile walk? Really think about that. Probably it's been a while. And people think walking is an exercise. It's exercise. It's definitely exercise. It's great cardiovascular exercise. You're using your core if you're walking correctly with good form. You're using your glutes. You're using your whole body functionally the way that it was designed without having that high impact that can lead to those overuse injuries and things like labrum tears or joint issues. A lot of people complain about problems in their knees. And then one of the first questions we ask them is, are you a runner? Because a lot of times when you have issues in your knees, it's not a weakness in the knee. It's a weakness in the hip. And a lot of that comes too when you're doing those long bouts of steady state cardio, your body, the first thing that it's gonna eat up is your muscle, okay? So this whole entire program is about preserving your muscle, making sure that your joints are going to stay safe. And what happens when you do too much cardio is your body's like, oh crap, we gotta get calories from somewhere, okay? We gotta like preserve our energy. We better start eating up this muscle because it's taking up a lot of calories. It's boosting our metabolism like crazy, right? <laughs> so we better get rid of it. And that's a lot of times why you see people who are runners look at a, an endurance runner, look at an Olympic runner, 
a long distance runner versus look at a sprinter. The sprinters are very well formed. They have tons of muscle. They look chiseled like the gods. And then you look at these <laughs> endurance runners and they're skin and bones. Yes. You get what's called skinny fat syndrome, okay? So what we want to do is not go into that. We don't want you to get injuries. We wanna keep you safe. And it's a very important thing to us to be able to share this with the world, share our experience with the world, because as certified personal trainers, this is something we see all the time, especially with women. And it's not your fault. If no one's ever told you this before, don't worry about it. It's super easy when you get super motivated. You're like, yes, I'm going to get in shape. One of the easiest things you could think to do is to go run. I did it myself too. And that's exactly where you got this cue from. That's why she started running is because I was like, I'm going to get in shape. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to hit the pavement. I started running two miles, three miles, four miles, five miles. And as long as I was increasing that distance, I was still burning fat. Yeah but I was also increasing my chance of injury. I was starting to experience things like getting dizzy, blacking out, having knee pain, all the things that with a tight IT band, it just, it, it sucked to be honest with you. So this is a much more sustainable way that you can maintain long-term and that's why you're here. Let's be honest, nobody wants to be on that roller coaster yo-yo diet. Nobody wants to be on that roller coaster yo-yo workouts. We're here to make you feel good, perform well, and live your best possible life to be the best possible you that there is. And so thank goodness that we learned this lesson. We want to prevent you from having to go through the pain. That was hard. That was hard watching my baby sister at the young 20s age go through a hip surgery. She was in there for all day long. I just, my heart broke. When she came out, she did, she was, you know, on all kinds of crazy drugs. I didn't know what was going on. And she was on crutches for weeks at a time. She had to take time off school, time off work. And that's not something I would wish upon anybody, especially having the guilt that comes along with being an older sister who didn't educate themselves correctly and had somebody else follow in my ignorant footsteps. So I wanna share that information with you because it, it really is truly, it touches my heart. And one of the, the big things is just that it happens to so many people. I'm sure in your life right now, you know a runner that has some kind of knee issue or, or shin splints or problems with their ankles or problems with their hips. I guarantee you know somebody. It's a friend of a friend, it's a relative. It happens all the time. And so if we can bring awareness to the subject because it's just misinformation. There's a lot of inf misinformation out there about fitness and especially running and cardio. And what you wanna do is make yourself into a fat burning machine where you have more muscle mass on your body, you have a higher rate of metabolism so you can eat more, you can enjoy your life more and you can do the things that you love with exercise. So if you hate cardio, you don't need to do cardio, honey. Just watch the video that we already filmed on this topic because we really will go more into the back end of everything and how your body adapts when you do cardio and why we highly don't recommend long bouts of endurance-based cardio. So just click the link below to watch that video. It really mean a lot to us to, to see that. It's one of the videos for us that's a lot of people have gotten a lot out of because a lot of people don't know this. So really definitely check that video out. But at the end of the day, if you love running and it's just your soulmate workout, we're not telling you not to do it. However, train smart, be safe, and make sure that you're also doing the strength training that your body needs in order to perform in that way. And the mobility and the stretching, because that is something 90% of people overlook. And if you're having some kind of knee issue, hip issue, a lot of it probably comes down to mobility and strength. So those two are huge. You can't just do cardio. You gotta be well-rounded and balanced. So that's what this program is all about. And thank you for joining us for the seven day free trial. We hope to have you in the full membership program. We highly don't recommend <laughs> running. <laughs> that's a good one. Never heard of that. Right, okay. Never heard of it that way. <laughs>